Good morning, it's Susanna White Dragonfly Healing and I have a quick message for you today. Um, and I just, uh, I just asked my team, what can I talk about? You know, what's important? And um, what they were showing me really was that we need to um, learn how to step back into our heart, especially when we're dealing with other people. Um, of course, they show me things coming from so many directions, it's hard to like vo vocalize everything that they want me to say. Um, when I when I take into consideration how they explain to me things that are going on right now. One of the things is I'm, I have a little thing I'm going to read um, for you. It's it's short, but um, one of the things is that, you know, the split that's going on right now is really becoming um, uh, more apparent, I guess. And what they were saying is that when we're dealing with people that don't, you know, kind of resonate with what our way of thinking is to remember, and the saying that they told me was, treat people how you want to be treated. And um, we've been told that our whole lives, you know, growing up, treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you keep that in mind, um, it's going to help you express your views differently um, when you come up against things that um, don't agree with your way of thinking okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just read right now um, the message that they gave me okay so here we go uh, step back into a loving heart be compassionate when speaking to another stop and take time to listen to the words they speak with an open mind and not one that tries to fix the problem right away um, and you'll find that with women, um, we can be more compassionate and we like, um, we, uh, what's the word? We can associate with what the person is saying or we can relate to what the person is saying, okay? Um, and that's the way women think. Men tend to try and fix the problem, okay? So what they're saying is, um, Try to listen with an open mind when they speak and not try to fix the problem for them. Just really listen to what they're saying to you, okay? Remember everyone is on their own timeline of learning and understanding their each and every present moment, but they're on their own timeline, right? Respect their decisions, even if they do not resonate with your own, okay? That could be tough, especially if you're an awakened one that sees differently the way things are unfolding on the planet, right? So we have to respect the decisions that everyone makes on their own timeline, whether they're our children, whether they're our family, our friends, our coworkers. Um, of course, our hearts are, are, are wanting to help and express our truths and our knowing if it's not in agreement with theirs, but we have to step back, like they said, and allow them to, um, talk about what it is that's concerning them and we have to learn to listen okay so respect their decisions even if they do not resonate with your own we are here okay so we this is where they step in big time we are here to help and assist in the ascension process not to catapult someone's awareness of what is going on where it would put them into uh in shock or drop them into fear so even the collective is not allowed to give us too much information and you'll notice that in quantum sessions okay um and hypnosis sessions when you listen to people's sessions if they in fact are tapped in with the white light collective that i like to call them the archangels the angels jesus god you know that higher higher um higher location okay um they will never tell you anything that's going to put you into fear so they're speaking for themselves as well as for how we should be um, expressing ourselves we're here to help and assist in the ascension process, whether it's them or whether it's us with other people, okay? Uh, not to catapult someone's awareness of what is going on. So don't bombard them with information that you've learned and taken a long time and it's been a process for you to gain that insight, okay? Don't just drop it on somebody that's not awake, okay? Um, it would put them into shock and drop them into fear. Okay, then that's a low resonance, low resonance, right? A low frequency. Gentle guidance wins the race, so to speak. Offer your ear to hear their fears and concerns, and then listen to your own guidance team or team to allow the proper words to filter through. So when somebody gives you information about what they're concerned about, don't jump right in with your ego mind. Stop 
and listen. And when we take the time to listen, right, it allows our team to filter through. It allows the God, like God to come through, your oversoul, your higher self, your angels, whoever is working with you. It gives them time to filter that message through, okay? So gentle guidance wins the race, so to speak right? So that truth from the highest source without human interference getting in the way can come through. All right. So allow forgiveness to step into play. And truly, it is forgiveness of your own thoughts and actions that need to be attended to. For when you do that, you realize the negative connotation, energy and outcome. So working on forgiveness on yourself always allows you to bring a better person forward to help another um, be free and allow others the same respect and understanding forgiveness and heartfelt love that you want. This message is coming from Jesus. Okay. And I laughed because he came in and said, this message brought to you today by Jesus is how he brought it through in the end in my mind. And it just made me laugh because, you know, sometimes I'm channeling or I bring these messages through and they're so quick. It's almost like it's my own thinking, but it's not right. And I question when I'm doing this sometimes, who am I talking to? I can feel the shift of when, you know, the group is, is channeling through as a one voice. And then I felt the shift come in, um, with Jesus, when he said, you know, gentle guidance wins the race, so to speak, offer your ear to hear their fears and concerns, and then listen to your own team to allow the proper words to filter through. So that truth from the highest source without human interference gets in the way is getting in the way. Okay, so um, right there is where he stepped in. And I love that. Like, I love how I can start to, sh to feel the shift in even what's coming through me to share with you guys, right. But um, I think that's it for today. It's actually just a, it's just a quick message. Um, and I like to share, they know my heart is in doing this, this kind of work. I just love it. And I always like to um, share what I learn and how they teach me. And, you know, these messages are for me too, hundred percent. They're for me too. And um, I just like to share them with you, but uh, that's it for today. So really focus on when you're helping somebody that's you know, the, the split is happening and you're over here and they're over here, you know, but you love them and they're over here. You know, you've got to be able to listen to what they're um, what they're saying without judging and with respect and, you know, understanding that you went through that process too, maybe. Um, and over a long period of time, it took you to wake up where a lot of these people are being shocked into being awake right now. And, um, you know, this is where they call the healers to come in and to really step forward with understanding and wisdom being an old soul okay not to um not to contribute to their fear if they're living in fear or not to contribute to keeping them in a lower energy if they're just struggling always have a gentle kind heart respecting them as a person with their own views and understandings and you know um allow allow you yourself to be able to help them in a way that you can shift out of that control and into a, a place of listening and guidance, which is what a true healer does. They guide, they don't give the answers. They drop little tidbits, you know, of understanding. They may, you know, you may be able to say, well, like, this is how I work through that. You know, that's different than do this. This is the way you got to do it. No, it might not be the right way for them to do something to understand something that's freaking them out. Okay. But by saying, well, this is how I handled it. It makes them look at it from a different perspective as well, because they're viewing you as a, a person who may be all together, a person who's grounded, a person who always seems to be um, calm and not freaking out, you know, when they're around others. And uh, they're looking at how your energy field is. And if they resonate with your field and they feel comfortable with your field, they're more likely going to listen to you um, when you say, this is how I handled it. Instead of saying, ah, this is what you need to do, do it, you know, because then that comes across as controlling and being egotistical and self-righteous. And those are energies you don't want to put onto another person either. Right. So that's it for today, everybody. I just wanted to share that little thing. 
I'm going to post my picture of blue eyed Jesus that uh, I know the picture is dark. Okay. But um, it's not that it's a dark picture. Um, I haven't been doing my artwork lately. And I was reminded last night, Hey, I need to start doing that. But when I've been out of it for a while, I find it difficult to get into the groove of, of drawing or, or creating. Right. So uh, Jesus reminded me last night that, I did have an intervention with him several years ago in person and he manifested it in, in a live person. And um, he showed himself to me like that. And his eyes were, you know, we kind of crossed paths and he looked right at me like that. He had on a dark, like a hoodie, this person. And I could see his hair and it was almost like the, the ringlets, the Jewish ringlets, right? Dark. And, um, but he had a hoodie on, so his face was kind of shaded. But what was so amazing was that his eyes popped. And that's what I'll never forget. And um, I was at a location with my husband. And then, you know, I went to sit over on the wall by the, this low wall with my husband. And I started to tell him. And when I looked, he was gone. So it was a matter of just maybe less than a minute when I, when I crossed his path. And then he was nowhere to be found. So it was quite bizarre and I've always kind of held on to that. And he has confirmed that for me that he did kind of show up that way for me. Um, and I think it was a little test for me to see if I believed it. But anyway, so that's how I saw him. That's the picture I'm gonna post as my, uh, my thumbnail for this video. And you know, I hope you all enjoyed the message and get some insight. Sometimes we just need reminders of, you know, things we've been taught our whole lives growing up, treat people the way you want to be treated, right? So it's a good little reminder. I hope you all have a great day. It's Monday and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, it's Suzanne, White Dragonfly Healing.